Hey guys, Levi here with Trident Fly Fishing and today we're gonna to be going over four of the most important knots in fly tying. We're gonna start with the jam knot, move into the pin trap, which isn't really a knot, but it's a pretty important thing for those beginner fly tires out there. And then from there, we're gonna move into the half hitch and then finish off with the whip finish. This is everything you need to uh, get ready, so we're gonna get started right now. So the first knot we're gonna get started with is a jam knot, and this is an essential knot to tying pretty much any fly because it's how you secure your thread onto your hook shank and eventually allows you to tie materials onto your hook or your fly. So we're gonna get started with our thread and a bobbin. And we'll have two ends, the thread that comes out of the bobbin and then the tag end. So just go ahead and wrap that over the top, wrap your bobbin over the top, and you'll notice the tag end down here at a uh, slight southwest angle. So they're separate from one another. So to create a jam knot, all we're gonna do is wrap one loop, wrap over again, over again, 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 and now you can let go of everything and everything's secure. So if you don't do a jam knot, and if you just wrap your thread over this, what's gonna end up happening is it comes undone and you can't tie any materials into your hook. So we'll go over that one more time just because it's really simple. One wrap over, wrap your thread over the tag end, keep doing it. You can wrap that a couple of times and then just pop it right off or you can use scissors. That is a jam knot and that's the first knot we're gonna go over. Now that we have a, uh, a thread base on our hook shank, we're gonna move right into the pin trap. And the pin trap isn't really a knot per se, it's just more of a way to secure materials really neatly and very easily. So we have some deer hair here. This is a uh, common material that benefits from the pin trap, although you'll find that most materials tend to. It's one of those techniques that you kinda just naturally work into all your tying once you do it, and it's really simple. So I'm gonna show you first what it looks like if I don't use a pin trap. See how my thread carries the materials onto the other side of the hook and everything gets messy. That's not what you want. A pin trap prevents that simply by pinching your thread and kind of directing where you secure it. So the way you do that is you begin to wind your thread and you stop it right here and then pull it between your thumb and your index finger. And at that point, you can see the tension is all down there. I can kind of go loose up here without any issue. And then once you have that secure in between your thumb and your index, just pull it right down. And that secures everything and allows you to tie your material in without it rolling, without it being a hassle. To tie the half hitch knot with this tool, all we're gonna do is lay it over top of our thread and then we're put the eye of the hook in the hole and just pull with your left hand. Do it again to show you guys, put this on top of the thread and then slide it up, just pull your thread off. You'll see that there's a nice uh, slope there, kind of gravity takes over, makes it a little easier. So the last knot we're gonna talk about here is the whip finish and this is the most common way to secure your fly. It's a, uh, can be a little bit cumbersome to learn, but once you do it a couple of times, you get the hang of it. It's really simple and it's a really good securing knot. It's essentially a series of half hitches, but you do it all in one motion. So it's nice and easy, convenient. So here we have a rotating Mattarelli whip finish tool. And you'll notice that we have a hook up here and a divot down here. Those are the two most important parts for you to pay attention in this process. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna put that hook right through our thread like that. And you'll see the main thread here goes over the end of that hook. And then here's your divot that I talked about earlier. And you just take this up and you'll see a number four created or sort of a D. Take that over and you can just let it hang at this point and then grab it down here. Now you really will see that number four there and take this. Here's where the rotating function serves you. Rotate it over and you just created three half hitches. And you'll see this hook here. As you pull down, the hook gets close to the hook shank and then you just pull it out. And there's your way finish knot. It's a great way to secure pretty much all flies. If you feel that you need to do a couple in there, 
you can do that. It doesn't build up a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of bulk, and it makes it easy to secure any fly of any size, whether you're tying salt water, fresh water, anything else. Those are the four knots that you need to tie flies. I want to thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. And if you're a beginner fly tire, click on this link right here to see more videos in this series. Thank you.